I was working in offices, but the first office that I went to work for, well, I went to, I always remember the number, yeah. 19 different offices and was turned down. Mm -hmm. And uh, I finally got a job in a, like the 20th office. Yes. And I also later on went to work for the city of New York. I found that from co-workers, some of them were very pleased that here I was a licensed architect, and others were angry about it. Yes. So after you, you were accepted by the 20th entity mm -hmm. that you went to, what was your job specifically for the city of New York? It was uh, a job, what they call a, a junior a drafts person, draftsman. Yes. Was that the norm for? Yes, that was the norm. That was the norm. And uh, some of my uh, bosses couldn't pass the licensing exam. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That Here must have put you in a very <laughs> interesting position. There you were, a recent graduate from Columbia University with a degree in architecture. And, and a license. And a license, <laughs> exactly, when so many others could not pass mm -hmm. on the first try. Um, then I understand also that you got a bad reference from one of your supervisors when you were working for New York City. Will you tell that story? I guess it's when you left your New York City job to go to another job, you got a bad reference. Yes. Will you tell the story about that person who did that to you? I met some former co-workers who were surprised, very much surprised, that I had gotten a job working for this company. And they had heard when the the new company called back for a reference. And the guy told him, who was my boss, all sorts of negative things that I was always late, that <laughs> I uh, didn't know anything, all sorts of things. And uh, they were surprised that I got this job. <laughs> <laughs> Despite that. Yes. Yes. And, and what job was that? That was a job with Skidmore, Owings & Merrill, which is one of the largest architectural firms. And uh, the new boss, the one that was hiring at Skidmore, Owings & Merrill, must have figured nobody could be that bad. <laughs> Good for <laughs> and, this person. Uh, yes, that, uh, and that I would have worked there as long as I did, that uh, no one could be that bad and still keep the job. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And hired me despite this very negative recommendation. <laughs> What was it like to be a working mother uh, and, and a single mother in the 50s? Well, it was, it was hard, but my, my mother took care of my kids. Yes. And, uh, oh, that's good. So you had yes. support from your mother. Yes. Yes. She was alive at that time.